Now today I want to talk about a concept that really irritates me at times. So many times when I post something on social media, I get one or two people jumping in and going, that sounds like a judgment. Ron, you shouldn't judge. Welcome to Magnify Your Life, where we enable people to be more, do more and have more. Now, this show is for ambitious people who are looking to understand concepts and more importantly, apply them to get results in a way that would enable them to design the life and lifestyle that they truly want to live and for them to achieve more. Now, if you know me, you would probably know I'm no minimalist. I'm all about having more, doing more and being more. I don't believe that we're here to live a scarcity based life. And so this show is really designed for people who are ambitious and want more, but for some reason find themselves struggling and stuck. Now, if you also have been following me across social media channels, you will know one thing about me and that is I am a truth seeker. I prefer facts over feelings and sometimes I can be very direct and raw because I don't want my views being distorted by my own emotions. You see, I would much rather prefer to be objective than be subjective when it comes to concepts that result in a better quality of life. Now, today I want to talk about a concept that really irritates me at times. And the concept that I'm talking about is so many times when I post something on social media, I get one or two people jumping in and going, that sounds like a judgment. Ron, you shouldn't judge. Judging is not okay. Hmm. You see, I wonder if these people actually think before they say these things. Is it even possible to live a life without judging? Think about this. When we turn right, we make a judgment to turn right and not to turn left. When we decide on a particular school or a certain type of education for our children, we've just made a judgment. When we decide to choose one career path over another, we're exercising judgment again. When we decide that we want to hire a certain type of person over another type of person, again, we are exercising judgment in favor of one person and against another person. You see, it is impossible to live a life without judgment. And so the issue is that the statement in itself is so hypocritical because the moment you say you shouldn't judge, what did you just do? You exercise judgment. You see, it is impossible to live a life without judgment. Now, I'm not saying that we should be sitting back and acting like gods and ultimate authorities passing judgments on everybody. That's not the reason why I'm defending this concept. The reason I'm defending this concept is because at times we have to make judgments about people, especially about their behaviors and their results. You see, people are spiritually equal, but when it comes to performance and results, they're not. And that's why when it comes to getting admission in a university or getting your ideal job or getting a deal with stakeholders, it, you're not treated the same as everybody else. The thing is, you've got to earn that stuff on your merit. Yes, we're all human beings. Yes, we all deserve respect for our spiritual nature. However, if you act in a way that is not consistent with your spiritual nature, the other person has the absolute right to pass a judgment against your behaviors, especially if they're damaging to yourself, to others or to society. My point is very simple. This statement, you shouldn't judge, is just self-defeating. People who make this statement are basically people who are just not thinking. They're just regurgitating what they've heard from other places. And they're not understanding that this is the type of lies that when we start to tell these things to ourselves, this is when we start to move away from the truth. And once we start to move away from the truth, we create so much confusion for ourselves. My point is very simple. It is very important to exercise judgment. Otherwise, we can't judge bad from good. We can't judge wrong from right. And that's why it is important for us to be able to exercise judgment. Now, of course, some people are very poor at making judgments. 
Judgments come from experience. The ability to judge correctly and accurately actually comes from experience. So for those people who don't have the experience and don't have a basis and somehow only use their emotion to make a judgment, those people certainly should not be making a judgment without understanding how to make a judgment. I know it's an intriguing topic and you're probably wondering why I even talk about this. Well, that, like I explained, you see so many people say really stupid things to themselves. Or you shouldn't judge. Really? What would you do if somebody broke into your house? Would you not judge them? What if somebody kidnapped your children? Would you not judge them? What if somebody punched you in the mouth for no reason? Would you not judge them? Of course you would. So please understand that these types of half-truths are what is taking you away from the ability to make good decisions in your life. And the more you don't question these types of statements, the higher the likelihood that you're going to continue to make inferior decisions for your life.